showing U.S. interest in the region. Trump's multitask tour also advocated America first by putting an overemphasis on bilateral trade, touted the Indo-Pacific policy and reassured allies. For other leaders across Asia, however, Trump's quiet alone instincts must have represented a puzzling departure from his predecessors, who were to varying degrees standard bearers of multilateralism, democracy and human rights. Some of it was Trump's own doing. On November 7, Trump told a press conference in South Korea that he did not wish to use force against the DPRK, urging Pyongyang to return to a negotiation table. They're what they are, Kelly said of the tweets. But Trump on Wednesday morning was focused on the criticism he has faced from some over his warm embrace of Xi, whom Trump praised in Beijing and absolved of any wrongdoing for unfair trading practices that Trump has said have hurt the U.S. The tweets don't run my life good staff work runs it. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell Addison Mitch Mitchell McConnell McConnell expects Paul to return to Senate next week Former Hill staff calls for mandatory harassment training gaming the odds of any GOP tax bill getting signed into law more RKY, who has called on more to drop out of the Alabama Senate race, said Tuesday a final decision won't be made until Trump is consulted. Over the past 10 months traveling the globe and meeting with world leaders, that is exactly what I have done, Trump said from the diplomatic reception room of the White House. Human rights groups believe the total could be closer to 9,000. Photos from the moment depict the president struggling to perform the ritual, before finally straining to reach the hand of the far shorter Philippine president Rodrigo Duterte on his left and completing the greeting with a wincing grimace. And on trade, the president said confidently that USA trading partners will be treating us much differently than before. On his first day back at the White House after a trip to Asia, President Trump took to Twitter with a vengeance Wednesday to blast his critics in the news media. Trump also strategized with USA allies about the North Korean nuclear threat. And then he tacked back toward diplomacy. While toasting Trump at a state dinner, Abe said, when you play golf with someone not just once, but for two times, the person must be your favorite guy. Xi Jinping gave Trump a huge welcome, so China and U.S. relationship is relatively stable at the moment. Instead of demanding concessions on trade, instead of demanding the same equal access to markets we provide to Chinese firms, instead of addressing the sordid history of intellectual property theft and extortion, Trump was eager to let China off the hook to say it was not their fault, but rather the failure of American presidents, he charged. Schumer alleged that after eight years of Republicans questioning President Barack Obama's toughness with foreign leaders it seems that Trump, not Obama, is the one who's afraid to take on America's adversaries. In Manila on his penultimate day of the marathon swing, Trump declared it a very fruitful trip, saying the country's head visited had rolled out the red carpet like, I think, probably nobody has ever received. Trump added and I believe I really believe that when he tells me that, he means it. The most important deliverable is that we can send a nearly identical message to the world that we share an identical strategy, a Japanese government official said. He took evident relish in dumping a wooden box of fish food into a koi pond at a Japanese palace, even if he was following Abe's lead, if less gracie. For most of the trip, Trump was able to leave domestic affairs behind, though he did reignite the Russian Federation firestorm by revealing that President Vladimir Putin had insisted to him in Vietnam that Moscow didnt the 2016 election. Trump called on China for the umpteenth time to strengthen sanctions on North Korea. She said nothing, and the Chinese press removed Trump's comments. Congratulations. Now that's something.